Jessie B. Scrapbooking back with another process video and today I am doing another all about the page maps and um, this one's going to be a little different. I still have a whole bunch of pictures from when we went shooting with our friends and so I want to use them and I want to use this is just a pocket card or pocket page protector and they're like two and a half by three inch and in one of the page maps this is for March of 2014 it has all of these that look like pocket pages to me especially like this one so since this one is three up and three across I figured I could do like this one right here or this one here. No, this one right here. Now I could even do these ones over here and just take out like one section since these are four across here. I could take out one. So I'm going to see which one I'm going to choose and get going. I'm going to do front and back and uh, yeah. So let's get going. Okay, so I was wrong. I'm actually only going to do one side, not both sides, because I could not figure out how to cut down my bigger pictures. So I decided to go with the very first sketch and just cut off a section of it, like I mentioned. And this actually worked out really well. So I'm just trying to figure out what sizes to cut these pictures down. This one, I don't need all the background. I just want the sign and it just says what all the yardage was at the range. I just thought that was fun. And then this one, I wanted to cut down a little smaller so it could be in that bottom position. And um, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what I need in a picture and what I don't. And so these pictures, the one I just cut is uh, myself and I'm shooting uh, I think that I'm I can't remember which one gun I was shooting but um we it doesn't look like I'm wearing ear protection but I am I have the little um plugs that go inside your ears and so is my friend and I had my big uh ear protection on the kids I have big ones that go up all the way over their ears and so they were wearing those and um, they thought that it was really funny how they couldn't hear nothing with them and uh, so I finally figure out how I want the pictures to all be in the pocket pages and now I'm going to move the pocket page because I know it's glaring really bad so I get that out of the way and then I bring out this cut apart and I'm going to use it as my title and it just says, this is our happy place. And uh, so I'm going to put it onto this piece of green paper here. It has the little um, leaves on it. And I'm trying to keep it in the same kind of papers that I used on the last um, page I did because these two this is a companion page for that one and so they're going to be sitting next to each other and uh, so I just kind of want them to um, be cohesive so I am cutting out another one of these green page papers to go in the bottom corner and um, in the uh, sketch it has that's supposed to be a photo but I'm not going to put a photo there I'm just going to have it as a little embellishment um, square oh they're not squares they're rectangles but you know what I mean so here I am getting that title um, all situated and I know that it's going to be cut right in half so I'm trying to make sure I have it so that none of the words are going to be cut it's just going to be cut between the words and I think it worked out really well um, 
I've only done a couple uh, pages like this before, and so um, I'm still learning all the ins and outs. Um, MK Gun is amazing at it. I was watching some of her um, videos, and she does this kind of stuff all the time. And um, yes, I'm very impressed. And I'm going to keep trying until I... Uh, can get as comfortable as she is. She just like goes for it and it's just, she does amazing. So, um, I brought in this blue with the green flowers. It's kind of a bluish green flowers. And I'm going to use this in my bottom, um, photo area. And, uh, in the sketch, it has like a banner on the bottom. So I'm bringing that banner across and then I'm just going to put my picture on it right there on just the one half. And I was looking to see if this picture was the same size and it's not. It's a little smaller, but I'll fix that. And then I'm getting this glued down because I know that's going to stay there. This was a really fun day. Um, my friend in these pictures, she doesn't shoot much. And uh, so she was uh, very excited to shoot some 22s and stuff. And so this pink gun that she's holding is my daughter's 22. And uh, she just thought that was the coolest thing. And uh, so, yeah, we had a lot of fun that day. So now I decided to bring in this gold floral, or not floral, but it's leafy bits. <laughs> and I wanted a pop of color in the center, something that just kind of like stands out a little bit more. And that one definitely does. I think it's really pretty there. And I'm going to put this heart on it. And it says um, colorblind. And I am going to cover that because it, you know, doesn't make any sense for my picture. And so I'm just going to cover it with a banner and leave the heart. And I like that. And I put the little um, rainbow at the bottom and it says making magic happen. And I just thought that was cute. So I put that one down there. And then I cut a circle of that gold leafy bits out for the top. Um photo up there and now I'm bringing in the butterflies because I brought in butterflies on the last one they were the, the dimensional butterflies so these ones are flat ones these are the Tim Holtz um, die cut pack and so I figured they work perfect because they're flat but yet in the same color tones so now I'm just bringing in some of these little hearts um, so that they look like um, the sketch has like those little banners of um, circles across, circles or hexagons across the top. And so that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to forget to put the little, draw the little um, string. And so you'll have to see that in the close-ups at the end because I remembered after I turned the camera off. And so, and then I'm just adding some of these florals um, by Tim Holtz um, into each cluster. And... Um, I think that they're very, very pretty. And then I decided to add this one more butterfly. It's definitely a different um, color than the other butterflies, but it's okay. I think it looks really good. Um, it shows up way more yellow on camera than it does um, in person. And uh, I think it, it looks okay in the close-up photos in the end. So I'm just sprinkling these hearts all around everywhere and um, I'm liking how that is so I decided I'm going to start um, gluing everything down and I have hearts, flowers and um, that's basically what is making up all the clusters in uh, all these little pockets. Uh, this one here, I decided just to cut straight in half because you're going to miss half of it anyway. So I tucked it in 
kind of so it looks like it's tucked in underneath the picture there and then um, I do have a little tiny um, rosebud up by the title but um, I haven't glued it down yet I forgot so you'll see me glue that down a little bit and now I'm bringing in my little um, drills to make butterfly trails so the top one I'm doing in the yellow and the um, cream and then I'll do the bottom right one in just the yellow and then the bottom um, left one in just the cream and I think that that turns out really cute. Um, I do end up adding a sticker to the um, center square or center pocket and um, it's just a little hand and then it says I add a sticker over top of it, it says um, wide awake girls since it's just the girls in this picture and this page I thought it was perfect and then I end up adding a um, a word phrase onto um, this little banner because I was going to add it and I totally forgot so the word phrase says the most beautiful thing and uh, just across the heart there and um so now i'm going to take the plunge and cut my picture and this is where i'm going to make it just a little bit longer i'm going to use this little um a strip that comes off of the page that keeps it into the um, um pad and um I'm painting it, try and get it all squared. I'm just going to put it on here and just to lengthen that out. And I like that. And um, yeah, make sure you go to the end of the video and watch all the close ups because it does have all the little um, stickers that I forgot to add um, are in the pictures. And thank you so much for watching. This one was a lot of fun. I'm going to try another one and see um, how I do with it too. So thank you so much for watching. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. Bye.